what's up everybody uh yeah but before we get into this video if y'all could drop a like and subscribe that would really help me uh yeah um so Yishin or Yami that's the question that you probably have because you clicked here uh this one should be pretty self explanation ex oh god I can't say it um explanatory 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 yes um you can get yummy pretty easily off of this summon right here um and you you can't get you shame um you can't get a shark off of here i believe i can't kind of think you can get a shark off of here either no you can't so the only place you can currently get him is here so this is the character you're gonna want to get but maybe you, you don't want to summon so let's go over the, both of their stats and see a little bit better unit so this character let's see first let's go over the machine mm -hmm. all right only depth cono deco pin Deals damage to an enemy and bleeds the target for two rounds. Receives damage based on an attack, uh, attack when a round ends. Um, he is a vermilion bird. Which, I mean, yeah. The, the vermilion birds aren't really good at this time. He's an attacker and a def uh, damage over time character. And gets a good tensho. Uh, deals damage to a column of enemy grants a 50% chance of inflicting bleed lasting one round on the targets and uh, immediately triggers a column of enemies uh, damage over time once after weapon awakens reduces enemies attack damage for every stack of uh, damage over time um, right there you can see that he has attack strength in and Exiled Soul Reaper. Uh, whenever an ally, aside from Ishin, unleashes Rage, go uh, Ishin grants 50 Rage, which is I think is gonna be a really nice ability. Do you get him as a three star or a four star? I'm not sure. Well, I have to look at that. And his talent is uh, in non-arena game modes, the crit chance and crit resist chance of all characters are increased by two percent. So he's going to be a pretty sol solid unit here, um, especially with this this fourth ability here, giving you 50, like, any, you, uh, anytime you get a rage, he gives 50 rage, which is uh, pretty nice. So that's good for characters like uh, Off Rip that don't get it. Well, no. Well, second, off a second turn, like, sometimes, uh, what's a character that won't get a second turn? I'm not sure, to be honest. Maybe you, uh, maybe Yukiura. He sometimes doesn't get the second turn, so I guess that'll help because usually the second turn, everyone almost has Yamamoto, so you're gonna use that first turn, which that's 50 rage back. So I feel like that's a really good uh, ability he has there. Damage wise, uh, I can't tell, but this is definitely the character you want to go for. That's a good ten show. Um, we all know regular Ichigo. Um, regular Ichigo, I'm still using to this day. Um, because he's just a baller and he packs a punch for me. I know there's a lot of people that stop using him, but for me, he's just great. Uh, now let's go over Yami. Yami has Bala, it's his uh, combo skill. Deals a fixed amount of damage and uh, and eight percent of the enemy's max health points as extra damage to an enemy. Okay. Uh, deals a fixed amount of damage and eight percent of the enemy's lost health points as extra damage to an enemy. Gains one stack of fury when weapon awakens. Damage increases greatly if the enemy does, uh, doesn't have fury. He will gain one extra stack of fury fury each stack of fury increases max health points by 10% to a max of 100 uh, 150% 100 
current uh, health point ratio does not change. Cannot be dispelled. So he he this does 285 plus 22, but he is a single attack character. So I mean he's a he is a black tortoise. Um, and then let's go over here the fourth star ability. Reaching one stack of fury heals Yummy for a percent of his uh, health points. Reaching three stacks of fury increases Yummy's reflect damage rate. Reaching five stacks of fury increases Yummy's uh, attack. And then he just has health points here. So I feel like Yummy is going to be hitting something like Swayfon. Swayfon hits pretty hard. This looks like a character that's going to be doing that. And with this fury, I guess he can reflect damage. Uh, or at least a percent of damage that he gets and obviously he's high health points reflect damage and tank So he's gonna be a, a pretty good character. If you need a good tanky, I think harder hitter You're gonna want to go for Yanni, but I think overall giving uh, rage giving um, Damage to a column and getting that extra even though he isn't you know, a white, uh, a white tiger soul or Zuer soul. Um, I think the better option here is going to be Ishin. Um, hold on, I don't think I went over his talent. The defense and health points of all male characters are increased by 10%. Yeah. So, I feel like he's going to be a really solid unit, Ishin here, and, and Yami as well. They'll probably both be really solid units. But the better overall unit I'm gonna have to go for is definitely Ishin stats wise, abilities wise. Well, no, maybe not stats wise. Well, or maybe stats wise. Yeah, stats wise and ability wise. Um, of course, if you're looking for a tank, go for Yami. If you're looking for a character that can uh, do a little bit more for your team, go for Ishin. So yeah, I hope y'all everybody enjoyed today's video. Um, if you enjoyed, leave a like, uh, subscribe. Turn on post notifications if you're new. Um, yeah, I hope everybody stays blessed. Peace out.